Uh, speaking to me now is BKB referee Clive Allison. Uh, Clive, um, what are the main differences between bare knuckle boxing regarding the rules compared to glove boxing? Okay, the first thing to me, ov obviously that stands out, there's uh, just wraps only, all right? The knuckles are exposed. The emphasis is on the wrist, so the wrist is protected. Um, there's a lot more cuts. Um, you've got to be, as a referee, fighter, fighter safety is paramount, so you have to be as close as you can. There's no holding, you know. So if you work like glove boxing, you can be in close, you can, you know, get to work. BKB is not like that. It's about coming forward, who's landing the punches. Nobody doesn't w really want to see two guys holding on, having a bit of a breather. So we're straight in there, stop, step, step back, and we go again. Medicals, um, medical personnel are at ringside, check for any cuts, make sure the fight safety, fight is safety, and it's safe to go on. The count is separate as well. That's different, you know, because um, glove boxing, 10 second count, one to 10. If you're up by eight and you're ready to go on, you, the fight continues. BKB is different. The count is 20. So if I get 16, 17, and the fight is not really up for it, they're not getting up. I know they're, they're not, they're not um, willing and ready and able to defend themselves. The fight gets stopped. If I get to, you know, sometimes, we get a knockout and it's bad, instantaneous. You don't need to count, it's done. The fight, fighter safety is paramount. Med medical team straight on, attend to the fighter, and then we don't start until that fighter's safety is, is detailed. And you know, so everything's done proper here at BKB. It's not two guys going at it, everybody comes to, to fight. There's a lot of preparation these guys go through in cutting weight in making sure that they hit their target with their weight, nutrition. You know, these guys come to win, you know. And when you hear a body shot go in, it's, it's solid. When you hear a head shot, it's solid. The whole place hears it. You know, there's no, you know, it's not like, oh, you get hurt, hurt and go down for a count. No, they're tough as old boots. I've refed some pretty intense fights at BKB. Tony Lafferty, Taylor Goodjohn, that's probably one that stands out the most. Them guys were absolutely talking to each other. Come on, what have you got? What have you got? It's like, you have your best shots, I have my best shots. And that is brilliant and that's entertainment, you know. Um, from a technical point of view, from the, the fighter's point of view, how, how is it different from boxing? Um, is, it, is it any difference at all or is it just, um, I mean, I suppose it makes a difference with the, the lack of the gloves, small, smaller targets, smaller fists yeah the, it's a lot faster certainly a lot faster than glove because you don't get the um the air the air hitting the glove it's a lot faster it hurts if you ever hit someone on the top of the head with unprotected hands or just wrapped hands it's bone your head is solid it's gonna hurt you so you do get people hurting their hands broken fingers you know you've got to be pretty mindful of what shots you're going to go for you know in boxing you know the first three rounds they can come out figure their guy out well we've got three rounds here at bkb and it's um straight from naught to 100 mile an hour from the get-go you know everybody comes to win there isn't really well as people have seen there isn't really a game plan for a lot of people it's get stuck in roll up your sleeves and get stuck in and it made the best man win, and that's brilliant. How did you get involved in bare knuckle boxing? What was your background? Um, I'm from a Muay Thai background myself, um, and I, I was um, doing that until I think 2006, I think 2008, something like that. And I dislocated my shoulder three times. Um, that put an end to that. I was fighting the likes of um, Dillian White, Real Reaver, um, to name a few. I ended up being seventh in the UK. And um, I went the transition from um, being a competitor to um, a fist, being an official, the, uh, namely the referee was just a natural progression, along with judging. So, yeah, BKB is the, the new best thing, in my opinion. Um, I still love, love my Muay Thai. I still love the K1. I like MMA. I can ref it all. You know, but for me, for action and come forward action, if you like boxing and you like stand-up um, combat, BKB is the one. 
There's quite a few gloved boxers now making the transition from gloved boxing to bare knuckle boxing. Um, are certain fighters uh, better suited to make the transition? Do you think bare knuckle boxing wouldn't suit all gloved boxers? Well, that depend it depends on the boxer. But, you know, you pick up a lot more injuries, you're going to get cut at BKB. You know, it's not going to be from a clash of heads, it's going to be from a, you know, a combination. You know, the cuts, you get KOs, you know, it's, it's really down to the individual. You know, it, there's no feel-out process, it's straight in and get the job done. You know, sometimes it's not as attractive looking as working off the jab, one, two, three, step back, angle, manoeuvre, you know. Some people, like the height, like the likes of Jimmy Sweeney, Colin Fletcher, who's fighting today, you can let them, you know, Sean George, you can let them guys get on and fight. They, they've been around and they know how to fight. They know their own fighting style. So it's definitely a personal thing for each and every boxer that comes through the ropes. What uh, gloved boxer or MMA fighter, if, if you could just pick anyone, would you like to see in a, a bare knuckle boxing ring? Oh, that would have to be Mike Tyson. <laughs> <laughs> Without a doubt, Mike, Mike Tyson. But um, I don't know. I would like to see... Um, well, I'd like to see Dillian White, really, come through to bare knuckle boxing. That would be great, you know. Or maybe the Jixley King himself, Tyson, <laughs> you know. Maybe that, that would be great. You know, Tyson Fury coming over to BKB, the, the home for boxing, you know, and, and that would be marvellous. Imagine that, eh? Thank you, Clive, and um, good luck with, on the ref in the contest tonight. Thank you. Cheers, mate. Thank you.